Well, it's another hot 100 degree summer day. Little man has been helping daddy and poppy haul manure. Our manure pit's gotten full. Um, they are hauling manure to our wheat field that we just combined. Due to the distance, we're having to put it in the back of our trucks. They're using the white truck um, so that we can haul it all the way out there, dump it in a pile, and then we're gonna take our manure spreader out there <clears throat> and uh, we'll be able to spread it across the field. Little man's been in the excavator with daddy, loading uh, Poppy in the truck, and I guess he's ready for his snack. So I'm gonna go pick him up so he can have his snack. You're doing what? You're on the excavator? It's got a bucket? Yeah. Man, that's cool. What are you scooping? In the mud. That's mud? Yeah. But a bucket. Mm, you sure it's not poop? Yeah. Is it cow poop? Yeah, dying. Is it fertilizer? Yeah, dying. Is it gold? Yeah. Are you are you loading Poppy? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I need you to bucket and get moving and move and move the mud. I heard you need a snack. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. I mean, bye. Bye, Daddy. See you later. See you later. See y'all later. Thanks for helping this morning. Go check on the girls. Yeah, I think it's going to go watching. See you later, alligator. Later, gator. Yeah. Say after a while, crocodile. And I think got a daughter. <laughs> Chores are done. Evening. Evening date. <laughs> Pre-dinner date. <laughs> We're going to go check corn. It's June 27th. It's approximately 30 days before we should be starting to chop corn. But we've had a lot of high heat days. No rain in sight. And the corn's getting ready. I'm, we're getting ready to take a walk out here in the field. Looks like we'll be chopping corn with no ears on. I'd say we're... Instead of being 30 days out, I'd say 12 days, maybe 15. There's a chance of rain tonight. I think even if we don't get any rain tonight, I really don't think it's gonna help. I think we're still gonna be go, let's say 10th or 11th of July, which is early than what we thought. We're far from ready, but we'll get there. Pitiful corn with no ears. Let's go take a look. Just what I expected. We got a good lot of kernels here, but they're not fully developed. And with the weather we're gonna have, they're not gonna get developed. If we were putting it in for grain, we'd probably be okay. But since we gotta chop it and get the moisture right, we're starting to fire at the bottom already. The leaves are starting to go in survival mode and curdling up here, as you can see. That means it's shucking leaves, trying to take everything to make this ear of corn right now. With 100 degree days, corn just ain't gonna make an ear that, we, we won't be able to work, wait on the ear to get developed, or it'll be too dry. It's a shame, but mother nature calls the shots.
Just needs a rain. Needed a rain two weeks ago. Right now, I'd say it's not looking good for a silage. Half the tonnage, probably. No grain. Probably not going to get it very green because it's going to turn too fast on us. I wouldn't have said that two weeks ago when we were driving in mud. We were rutting up the hayfield. <laughs> Such is farming. You roll the dice. You I always, gamble. I always, said, gamble. I always said I wanted to be a gambler. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Waldo's getting over here pretty depressed <laughs> at looking at the corn. A lot of stalks with no ears, a lot of little ears. Pretty depressing. So much for that earworm. Better talk to my corn seed guy. Not supposed to be no earworms on these things. That ear might be ready in 10 days to chop. This corn's a little bit later variety. But like I said, here's a stock. That ear will never make. There's not one on that stock. About every third stock we have an ear on. Pretty pitiful, pretty pitiful. Which is shocking. I expected a good crop year this year with all that rain we were getting when it was drowning us out and we couldn't get dry. I thought, oh, this will be a good crop year. Follow the sound of the cheap. Oh, good grief. There it is. They talked to my sprayer. Your sprayer operator didn't get to do anything but pre-emerge because it was too wet to come back in and spray. Clean field, no weeds, but a lot of Johnson grass. We'll take the Johnson grass for tonnage. It'll mix in. It's the only thing we're gonna have to chop. It just makes the feed bill higher when there ain't no corn, no kernels for any starch in it. Oh well. Maybe next year. Is that what they say? Can't wait a year. We don't have till next year. We'll make some tons, but we just won't make the grain. Quality won't be there. If the quality's not there, the milk's not going to be there. We can subsidize the quality some. As long as the corn ain't dry. If it's dry, we can. But if we chop it green, when it needs to be chopped. As long as we don't wait on the what ears are there to fill out, just bite the bullet. We can add, we can add grain, just cost more. I guess it'll be a below average year on tonnage. This is the Grand Canyon over here. So we will Dukes a Hazard this during corn. <laughs> the General Lee ain't got nothing on us. 
How many times have we fixed that? I don't know. That corn's burning. That corn's probably the first one you do. Fourth of July chopping corn. Everybody says they want knee high corn by the fourth. Heck, I just don't want to have to be chopping by the fourth. Well, that was a pretty depressing date. Yes, it was. I hope he doesn't ask for my number. <laughs> She's going. We got power. We're rolling the right direction. She is alive. Two and a half hours later, we finally got her to go. She's alive. Ready to eat some corn. You look sharp. <laughs> It'll go for fifty loads. Fifty loads. Trash protector. Works every time. So our corn date was three year three three years. Three, <laughs> three days ago. And the corn's already burning significantly more than three days ago. And we're kinda to the point where we can't get in the field fast enough which is why they were working on the chopper today. Oil change, added some hydraulic fluid, couldn't get the header to go, <laughs> threw some hats, as y'all saw in the last video. Worked on hand the, signals. The, hand, the, the hat signal was um, used a few times today. Yeah, already been on the phone out to our good dealership out in Clovis, New Mexico, Western Equipment. Call on them for anything. They'll answer any time, any calls, any stupid questions, they answer. When you're stuck in the field, in the middle of corn, they'll answer. The mechanic laughed when I called him and goes, I hadn't heard from you in a while. Well, it's probably about a year ago. I told him I was gonna start next week, keep his phone on him. <laughs> the white truck's ready. The white truck's ready. We're looking about adding another truck. Still ain't got that done. Nothing like last minute. <laughs> yeah. Professional procrastinators over here. We thought we had a couple more weeks. And yeah, and we found out other... yesterday we, in fact, do not have a couple weeks. That's why we're in a hurry to get in the field. We missed a couple of rains in the last few days. It's yep. really, we really needed. It might have not have helped the corn, but it bought us a couple more days. I'm thinking... Today's the 1st of July. We'll be going a week from today for sure, but I bet you we're going, I bet we're chopping on the 4th. Okay, possibly, if anything, test chopping on the 4th just to, you know, get equipment going. It takes a day or two to kind of get everything in motion. Got to make sure my drivers know the hand <laughs> signals, and that takes a couple days. Uh, I think that takes the whole season. <laughs> okay. No, I, I think... I think by this weekend we'll be going a little bit. We'll we'll have chopped some to see where we're at. We're gonna get the pit ready tomorrow. We had a couple of blocks in our concrete pit that decided they wanted to move this winter. Kind of pushed out on us. We're gonna dig them out, try to push them back into place. Yeah, I forgot a lot of people do bags and we have two silage pits that we use um, to store our silage and we tarp it at the end of the season. Um, we still have the packing tractor to get ready. Yeah. 
it needs add that to the list. It needs radiator blowed out. Maybe we won't be going by the fourth. <laughs> needs a radiator blowed out. Needs. I'm gonna put a couple new thermostats in it. Put the dozer blade on it. Corn prep has begun. Hopefully, I can catch more of it for you guys to kind of see what we go through to get ready for corn. Um, corn harvest is here. It's an all hands on deck. The whole family's involved. We do not hire a custom crew. We are our custom crew. <laughs> We're gonna be busy. Other than that, it's chore time. So we gotta go, uh, I gotta go tag some new calves finally. We got some new calves. So I gotta go tag and feed them. I need my windows clean too. Yeah, yeah you need to hire someone for that. Okay, Whew. so that was their first time on bottle and they put up quite a fight. Apparently 103 degrees with a little humidity is the perfect time to wrestle. So that was fun. We don't like calving out in July, August, but for some reason back in October, November, we just didn't take the bull out with uh, the cows. And um, he did not get the memo, no hanky panky in October, November. So that is why we ended up having a few in July. Y'all stay cool out there. Thanks for following along. We'll see you in the next one.